Good morning, everybody. We are on our way to tour Mock Rides because Taylor is amazing and put this together as a surprise. How much of a rush were we in this morning? A giga rush, kid. This much of a rush? Literally, like 0 to 128. Oh my gosh, look, it's track in the ground. Company started in 1780. There's a golden ticket right there. We locked Sarah in the old Eurosat car. Yeah, but he said he's gonna bring me food, so it's okay. <laughs> it's ran for over 30 years sitting here in the lobby. We're on our tour with Mock Rides. Uh, we've been asked not to film anything on the inside, but we can film anything outside. This right here is the prototype for Arthur. Isn't this awesome? I want to ride it. I don't think you can ride it. There's, there's literally not even a ride vehicle. So this right here is the prototype for the rocking tug. So they have a boat right here that starts out on roller coaster track, drops into water, and then can come back out on roller coaster track. Here you can see the track that physically is underwater guiding the ride vehicle around. Wow. All right, I know we didn't show a whole lot, but that is the end of our little tour of Mock Rides. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we weren't allowed to show the inside, but uh, we did shoot an interview uh, all about Ride to Happiness, which was super cool. Uh, get to talk to some of the people who do the layouts. That was awesome. Uh, seeing how they make the track and everything is fascinating. It is so cool. And we got a souvenir. Yeah, they oh. gave us tongs that have uh, the Mock Rides logo on them. <laughs> barbecue. This means you need to start barbecuing now, Taylor. I can't cook. I love I love like everything about that. That was so cool. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, no, thank huge thank you to everyone at Mock Rides, uh, especially uh, Sasha for uh, leading our tour. This is awesome. So now we're gonna head over to Europa Park. Look, we parked under a roller coaster. It's a lot less chaotic now entering the park when they've been open for several hours. I think we should do the ride at the front of the park that we didn't yesterday, the Volatarium. Let's do one of the best flying theaters in the world. Ready to be like Soren Who? Ooh, all right. Yeah, I said it. Watch, I'm gonna set their expectations like way too high and they're gonna be like, that was not that good. Are we in Hogwarts now? Ooh. Let's go to our Gryffindor common room, or I guess technically these are blue, so probably Ravenclaw actually. You don't get this in the Soren queue, that's for sure. Wow. It's like a full museum. Look at all of this. All right, so we just rode the Volatarium. Similar to Soren in just about every way. I mean, the, the ending, it, it's like so funny because you come up on your rope park just like how you come up on Epcot. And it's the same stupid ball, too. I know. And then the fireworks start going off. The only thing he's missing is Tinkerbell. He's done really well. The, the main difference I would say is there's a lot more locations in this one. Yeah. You don't, definitely. You don't spend as much time at each location. Personally, I think this is just as good as Soren, maybe better. Um, you did make a good point earlier, though. Uh, Soren does have the better soundtrack. Oh, however, though, I think yeah. this one you get a lot more smells throughout the entire ride. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that they added smell. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh! Like you wouldn't even know we're in a theme park right now just looking at this. Look at the frog! Oh, there goes the roller coaster! Woo! Up we go for one of the coolest rides here at the park. You guys don't know anything about this, do you? I do not know a single thing. Look at the poop. It's a poopy. Oh. Yay! Show everyone what it is. I don't know what he is. He's a poop. He's got little eyes on him. 
All right, so what did you think of Arthur? I loved it. That was actually really fun. I like how it intertwines with nature and gets really low to the ground. It actually pulled some like surprising forces. Nothing like too crazy, obviously, but more than I was expecting. It was really fun. It's a very cool ride system. It is a very cool ride system. I didn't know it was gonna be like a dark ride slash roller coaster thing. The the ride vehicle was like very reminiscent of like the arm from um uh what the heck? Forbidden Journey. Forbidden Journey. That's what it made me think of a little bit, like the way the ride vehicle kind of moved. And okay. Stuff. I know yeah. it's not the same, but no, 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 I get it. Yeah, it's a confusing story, but uh, I, oh, I have uh, absolutely no idea what happened. I don't know yeah. what the hell this is, but I like him. <laughs> and it had sense again. It smelled really good in some parts. So every area of Europa Park is themed to a different country, but this area is kind of its own thing. It's more so on the fairy tale side of things. There's actually a restroom right up here that I used last time where you can pee next to a gnome. Grandma, what big belly you have. Grandma, you put on some weight, girl. Welcome to Alpine Expressin, where you can ride this with a VR headset. But it is an upcharge, so we're not gonna do it. Well, that's a cool little mine train. Oh, that was way too much fun that for literally so fun. no reason. That was awesome. I <laughs> wish it went around like five more times. And it has uh, some cool stuff that it yeah. goes through. Look, well, we got his first spread. Made it to Spain. This area is so cute. I love all the colors and everything, and even the pathway is super nice. Another lap there on Woden. Uh, I made the statement that the first drop is very much like a CCI. Uh, kind of, kind of like what you're saying with like legend. Yeah, I said like, this gives me like like baby legend vibes. Yeah. Not, the laterals are not that insane. Well, it's because most GCIs like swoop to the side, and this one's more of a straight, like it's still slanted a bit, but uh, it, it definitely reminds me of something you would see on one of those older rides. Still a great roller coaster. Big fun. I like it. We're back in Scandinavia and we were told to do this random duck ride right here called Snorri Torin. So I guess it's this little guy giving a tour or something. What the heck? Snorri the squid. This is a dark ride for children, but it's really cool. That was, again, way too much fun for no reason. It was very cute, very quirky. It did like the thing where like, like a, in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, where it yeah. takes you into like a separate little thing and like motion sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It had like a legit turntable where it's like, oh, now you're over here in like a dome watching a screen. Like, yeah, it was like a mix of everything. There was a section where it felt very like, Hawaiian and like tropical and then parts where it was underwater and parts where it was like all snow like Okay, we're back at the best ride in the park Probably, low key. Yeah. I mean it might be it might be one of the best. Oh, I think it is This is a park for dark rides and this one goes above and beyond. Yo, there's literally a pig right behind us. We're trying this, I, well, honestly, I don't know what this is. I know it's tapioca pudding with, there's like coconut. What are those? I think these are fried bananas. Yeah. Interesting, but we have a pretty cool view and honestly that's cooler than the food. Look at this. It's Paratin and Batavia, which we just rode. And that's what inspired us to come here because this is the end of the ride. Dude, the dark rides just keep coming. This one's themed to like, Santa's sleigh or something. Look at this. What? Is this just an ad for their wintertime event? <laughs> Come to Europa Park. You go, dude. You go. I like this guy. Oh, what the heck? There's a bigger one. Why does he look like that? Woo! Antarctica, Empire of the Penguin. This is literally me reaching out to touch the animatronic bear. What?
Dude, they have a wooden wild mouse here. <laughs> I get it. Um, Imagine being a cow and then people just like write on you. How rude. You know, most ride stations have an op booth right here with a person in it. Well, Schweizer Bobbin has this. We just did Schweizer Bobbin. Um, honestly, I didn't like it. I Reptilian is so much better. Just some of the sections were really slow. All of the sections were really slow. All of them were really slow. It was pretty short. I've done a lot of mock pops that are a lot better than that one. Even the one at Hyda Park is a lot better. I, I think Blackpool Pleasure Beach is one that's better. Watch your step. This line has not been bad at all. We're actually waiting in a separate queue for the front because uh, it flew by and the way that they're dispatching trains is like, hey, might as well wait an extra couple minutes for the front row, why not? So we just skipped the line for a Can Can Coaster because we tried something new. So on the Europa Park app, you can actually make a reservation for free for a skip the line for certain attractions that have that capability, which is not every ride here. It's just some of the main ones and they are gone very fast. And so uh, earlier we made a reservation for us uh, to get on Can Can Coaster at 530. And so we just walked up and pretty much went up this virtual queue that got us right on and we sat in the front. Air conditioning in that. Bro, it, I was literally sweating going up the lift hill. Yeah. And throughout the ride, even when you're moving quickly, it's still just circulating it's, hot yeah. air. But uh, other than that, it's cool how the ride has onboard audio, so it's playing the Can Can song and uh, all the different things you fly through. And it's just cool that they were able to fit that much ride into that giant ball. Poseidon was not that wet, honestly. And we sat in the front. <laughs> we you made sat it. In the front. We sat in the second row, and Matt basically just used the backpack as a shield. I was holding it because I'm a good friend. He literally the entire time was just like, oh my god, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. I'm like, dude. But the theming the was so <laughs> cool. Unfortunately, the ride is a shaky mess. Yeah, kind Like, of. the whole time it's just. Duh, 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 duh. Stop to use the bathroom, and look, we can actually see over the fence. Wow. Yeah, they're definitely uh, starting on some of the foundation work for Voltron. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a diving show going on here at Atlantica Super Splash. One minute wait. He's not happy. The theming in these stations is unbelievable. Honestly, not that bad. All right, so much like yesterday, we ended things out with Woden. Uh, we got two rides, and it was our first rides of this trip up in the front. And you guys had some thoughts about the front row. Although the drop is better in the back, I think the front is, the more towards the front is where it's at for Woden. Just because like it takes the elements a lot more aggressively and you get tossed a lot more, so I like the front. Yeah, I didn't like feel like, it, it didn't feel like a GCI in the back, but riding it up front, I was like, oh, there's those little pops that I like. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's definitely at, towards the front. You ride. really feel the speed, and yeah, like each of those little transitions like throws you more. They're checking out the park map, what'd you just say? It looks like New Jersey. It Kinda, totally it does. It actually totally does. I live over here. I live somewhere in this area right here. I don't live here. <laughs> so as we make our way out of Europa Park, our second day here is concluded and I would definitely call it a success. We took our time, we experienced a lot of the uh, lesser known attractions here. It was also a lot less busy today, so it didn't, feel, uh, didn't feel as overwhelming. So I think yes. it was better than the... Yeah, yeah well, yesterday you said that both of you said that the park was overwhelming, but you were wondering if it was just because it was your first time here. Do you still stand by that? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, just, I it, it definitely was. Yeah, I think, yeah, your first time here, and then especially with all those people, it was really packed. It was, it was a lot There's to take much. in. But um, I think today was a lot, was a lot better because we had time to like relax for a little bit. I and, could chill out. Yeah. 
and there was and there and there weren't a lot of people. Do you have a better sense of the park? Oh no, it's still big and I'm lost. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I have no <laughs> clue how to get anywhere. It's New Jersey. And We're somewhere in the middle right now. now. Yeah. On this trip, I think Fantasia Land is still above it. I would agree. It's probably my favorite park so far. I suspected it would be. Did it live up to your expectations? Um, the way the park looks, absolutely, but I think that I may have assumed that the dark rides were going to be more like Disney level, like the pirate one was, because I had heard that that was like incredible. That's fair. Yeah, and I'll I kind of thought that that was going to like carry throughout. I was like, okay, I know the roller coasters won't be like amazing. But maybe they'll be super well themed, and then like some, they were some good. were. They were good, and but not great. Exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give Woden was probably yeah. the best themed attraction. Uh, yeah. Besides uh, the pirate ride, right? or some of the dark rides. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's the best themed roller coaster. I feel like it was an absolutely gorgeous park with like okay rides. Yeah. Okay. For the most part. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fair assumption. And it's like it's gorgeous. Like I would definitely come back, but For I'm sure. not like. You're not hard know. pressed to like I gotta return here yeah, immediately. Yeah, like when I was younger, like I would leave like Disney or Universal or something. I'd be like, I cannot wait to come back here. And here I'm like, I'll get here when I get here. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I, I think that's completely understandable. I think that for me, it would take like a really crazy new roller coaster to come back. And actually, that's what I said the first time I came here. <laughs> um, which I mean, they're building a new one right now. Uh, we don't know how good it's gonna be we and, until it comes ride. out. That, that's true. <laughs> That, like that that did open? Lot. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good one. I mean, they do so much well. I mean, literally right in front of us, they have lots of walk-around characters, and because they don't have IPs, uh, they have to come up with their own kind of characters, and I think it's really cool and quirky to see what this park comes up with, yeah, and so. at the same time, if you really look at her costume, it's literally just an advertisement for the park. Like, it's just got pictures of your local park on it. All right, like, well, they're not all like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, but, like, that's, like, I've noticed a lot of that, and it's, it's fine, it's just I'm like, I know, like, I see how creative they can be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? And I would love to see that incorporated more into their rides. Yo, we popped in this random restaurant for dinner that's like down the street from Europa Park and they have these models of Blue Fire. And that's Poseidon, a raft, these are all 3D printed. Oh my gosh. That's so cool, I want one. Once again, this place is down the street from Europa Park. Look at this burger. Look at these fries. Look burger. at that burger. Look at my wedge. Why is there a ride? So there's no railing around this carousel, so anyone could just like hop on. <laughs> Woo! Not a credit, don't want it. Oh, it's hot. Found the cathedral we went to back in 2018, and it's way cooler now because they're doing some projection mapping on it. Like, look at this. We're going this way because this building literally just lit up blue and like everyone is walking over here and there's just like a mass amount of people. All right, it's purple, whatever you want to call it. Well, whatever it is, we just missed it because literally everyone's leaving. We figured out what's going on. Uh, they're doing an entire projection mapping light show on the freaking cathedral. What? This is so random. How did we just casually find this? Oh my gosh. That was certainly unexpected. That was yeah, so that cool. Was a cool when we first saw the cathedral, they were doing just like a little bit of lights. I'm like, that's so cool. And then there's an entire freaking projection mapped. They were like, All insane right, watch this. show. The entire side of the cathedral. Did we just happen to randomly find? None Not of us that. knew Not that, that was here. It's just like a random Wednesday night too. Yeah. It's like not like a special day or anything, as far as I know. Crazy, like. 
That's a heck of a show to put on just for, for free. No yeah. Like just yeah. anyone can just walk over here and see that. Yeah. That is like it was like mesmerizing. Yeah. That was that was awesome. That was a very very cool way to end out uh, today. Yeah. yeah. What an awesome time. So tomorrow uh, we will not be vlogging because we will not be visiting a park. We're gonna go visit uh, Luxembourg, do some more uh, sightseeing. But the next day we will be at. Plopsaland. We're gonna go ride right to that happiness. That is like the number one ride on the trip I've been most excited for. So. I'm stoked. So that's gonna be an awesome video. You're not gonna want to miss that. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.